Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies here today to talk about a new pump that we're offering. This is the DAB Euroinox 40-506 booster. It's a bit of a mouthful, uh, but this pump is ideal for boosting uh, city water pressure, boosting water from a water tank like I have here, and um, it's on demand. So if there's a drop in pressure in the line where someone opens a faucet, in the house, an irrigation system opens, a, a valve allowing a sprinkler system to come on, or a shower head, anything of that sort, this pump's going to turn on automatically. And it will run until the valves are closed and uh, the pressure is built uh, in the line, in the pipe, and it'll shut off. Uh, it comes in uh, single phase, 115 volt or 230 volt, and we have added a mass control controller to it to make this pump on demand. The pump by itself is not an on-demand pump, but we put it together as a package so that whenever you purchase it off of one of our websites, rainwaterequipment.com or rainharvestingsupplies.com, uh, you'll be able to get this as an on-demand pump. And also they're relatively inexpensive compared to lots of other on-demand booster pumps. Um, you'll see that I have this set up with a water tank uh, to allow flooded suction to enter the chamber. The ball valve is open. There's a pre-filter, which is always a good idea for booster pumps. You wanna keep debris out of these pumps in order to ensure the longevity. Uh, there is a priming port on top. Uh, in a situation like this, when you, when you allow the water to run in, you put a screwdriver in the priming port and just open it to allow the air to escape. And that's the best way to prime this pump very quickly. It only took me a matter of two or three minutes to get this pump to prime. Um, so I've got a stainless steel flex hose here. There's a drain port at the bottom. And uh, the pump, uh, again, is available in both voltages. You wanna make sure that when you make your purchase on the website, you choose the correct voltage and we'll outfit this for you with the correct controller. Uh, the controller and the pump are, have one inch inlet outlet connections uh, in this particular model. It's also available in one and a quarter inch. And so I'm going to simulate uh, turning this pump on and when I do, it's going to run until I turn the valve off. It'll run for a few seconds at that point and shut off. Now, uh, it's always a good idea to include a small pressure tank with a pump like this because it will extend the life. Uh, when you open this pump and it turns on, as it, it does that over time, over and over again, eventually it's going to wear the pump out. If you have a small pressure tank at the discharge, which will be uh, outside of the uh, controller here on the discharge side, if you get a leak somewhere, or you have a toilet that's running in the back of the house, uh, or you have somebody washes their hands and then turns the faucet off, it'll use the water in that pressure tank rather than turning the uh, pump on, and that'll extend the life. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and simulate turning the water on in the house. I've got this running through a couple hundred feet of garden hose here, so we should see about five gallons a minute. It's gonna drop down to 30 PSI when it kicks on and then run. And you'll see over here in the tank, I'm just recirculating water. We get good pressure, about five gallons a minute. I'll put that back down and then turn it off and we'll wait for this to turn off. It's gonna take a matter of seconds. This pump's actually going to do about 10 gallons a minute at about 68 PSI at the discharge. It'll do 14 gallons a minute at about uh, 55 PSI. Uh, and it'll max out around 20 gallons a minute at the low 35 to 30 PSI range. But it's best suited for lower flows in the 10 to 15 gallon per minute. So that's the, again, the Euro Inox uh, 40-506 booster available on both of our websites. If you need assistance uh, choosing the right pump at any time, give us a call at 877-331-7008.